As I was walking here towards my car parked in somewhere here in Cebu Business Park, I've noticed this accident here. You can see that the car is already halfway through crossing the whole part of the road and then the motorbike overtakes him and smack on his side. So based on experience, well, who will be the one at fault here will be the motorbike because obviously that the car is already on his lane the car is already traversing towards the next road and then the motorbike is overtaking him but take the wrong turn so the dent is on the side and you can see that the gasoline is dripping on one side of the car so when you have an experience like this here in the Philippines or in Cebu particularly you have to leave the scene as it is they will be calling you will be calling the LTO office so when you're living here make sure you have the number of the traffic office of your nearest area so for Cebu City it will be the CCTO Cebu City traffic office and Mandawi City is also different and also, like I said, you have to, where you reside here in Cebu, Philippines, you have to have, if you are um, having your own vehicle, you need to have the number of the nearest traffic office in the area because when you have accidents, you have to make sure that they can be called to assess the situation. But based on my experience for so long driving here in the city, it's obviously the fault of the motorcycle because the car is its own lane and the impact is on the side so it's obvious that the motorbike is the one hitting the car so until now they are still waiting for the LTO officers to sort out the traffic accident so there's another thing that it is not so efficient here in the Philippines is when there's traffic accident you're gonna have to wait for a traffic officer to assist the situation before you can even move your vehicles to make the traffic flow so again make sure you have your local traffic office number with you when if you are driving a vehicle here in the Philippines so in a, in a case of accident you can immediately call so your situation be assessed and then you will be taken to the local office of the traffic uh, enforcer, enforcement in your area and then they will be checking if any one of you have vehicular insurance who got the, you know, the licenses are, are updated, the registrations are updated and then before assessment of who is at fault and usually it will be an insurance job.